What's going on guys, Vic VP here. On this one today, it's gonna be pretty quick. I wanna give a big special thank you and shout out to my friends Dennis and Linda over at Peace, Love and Pinball. Without Dennis's Escalera and his expertise, I would not have gotten these three machines down to my basement slash battle station. Let's take a look at some footage of the Escalera and Dennis in action. Now, before I show you some Escalera footage, you know the drill. If you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. There's a convenient link tree link down below. Go there, click it, you'll see TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, the whole nine yards. Be sure to also like, comment, and subscribe. Have you ever heard of an Escalera? Did you know that there was such thing as an appliance dolly that will climb the stairs and make your life easier? Yeah, I didn't know that a year ago. I wish I knew about it sooner before I uh, bought down my Godfather and my Toy Story. But luckily with the pinball community, you learn a couple of things and you meet some amazing people. I obviously will do a shameless plug for them. They are great, amazing people that I could proudly call friends. I luckily met Dennis and Linda through Michael Focus and his pinball tournament slash group known as the Long Island Pinball Society. Um, again, it's just amazing. The pinball community coming together. Uh, it's been very welcoming, uh, especially to me. Just me discovering that there is a group of people that play pinball uh, in Long Island slash New York. It's like mind blowing to me. But again, big shout out to Michael. Um, without him in the group, I would never have met Dennis and Linda. I do remember the first time I met them at a tournament out round one. It was just casual banter. Uh, it then turned into me talking about how I needed some assistance and I wish I knew somebody that had an Escalera. Dennis pulled me aside. He goes, Vic, I have an Escalera. So whenever you're ready to bring down your three machines, just let me know. Now, before I go into details on the Escalera and all that, I just want to explain something about the game room because right now there's going to be haters that are like, hey, Vic, what's going on here? You have no longer access to that door and, you know, your vertical cabinet seems kind of squished. Right now, the layout of the battle station, I call it my game room, it is not totally correct as far as my mapping that I did for the man cave builder. Uh, I'm supposed to have actually four machines along this wall. There's supposed to be two here. There's supposed to be two here, one here, which is the V pin that's supposed to come here, and then two back to backs here. Behind the camera there, I have three spots. Two of three are taken by my Godfather and Toy Story. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown because people are gonna be like, you can't even go to that door. Like, I know, it's okay. And not to mention, I'm usually the only one down here as far as when I have parties for like Christmas wise, then it gets a little crazy here, but that's like two or three times out of the year. Also, last thing is, you can check it out. I did a couple of modifications to these three cabinets. I did do the poor man's LED mod, and I also did my 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on all three of these machines. So I am stream ready, but look at the whole LED stuff. Addressable LEDs going on, each one's got it. Earth Shaker, I still have to go into like programming wise, but I got Earth Shaker set to like pink. Royal Rumble, I'm picturing like a yellow with like some red bullets going around like it's doing now. But yeah, stay tuned for some videos. Let me know if you want some tutorials on that. Now the main intention of this video is to just talk about the Escalera because I feel like not many people know that there is something that could help you bring up and down steps, heavy machines. It's not just pinball machines. Uh, the old business I used to run, I used to have a vending machine company and I remember that they bought a vending, uh, a soda machine up five steps. So I should have remembered it, but it's just kind of cool to realize that there are people in the pinball community that have an Escalera. I would have bought one. Honestly, I was on the verge of buying it. That's where Dennis was kind of lurking around and said, hey, Vic, man, don't buy one. I have one, I'll help you out. Then it kind of snowballed into me discovering that there's two other slash three, three other people that have an Escalera in our Long Island pinball community. Uh, Jeff D, Scott, and Jason Young. They have Escalera. So 
I don't need one now, but keep in mind, this was the cool thing about Dennis. Um, Dennis is an awesome dude. Just like how the pinball community has been to me, everybody's been awesome. They've been very helpful. Dennis came by to help me out. He goes, Vic, you are somebody in the community that needed help and I wanted to help. I said, that's perfectly fine, Dennis, I appreciate it. I did pay Dennis. I said, Dennis, please, I have to pay you. He first denied it and I said, no, no, no. There was physical labor involved. He goes, Vic, I just loved your community. I just liked your company, I should say. I had fun with you and I'm talking. We were, we were literally talking for about three or four hours. So uh, I just, I'm not a believer of anything is free. So I wanted to make sure, cover the gas. I said, here, cover gas and lunch. I will take Dennis and Linda out to lunch one day. It's a little difficult when you have a three-year-old kiddo, but don't worry guys, I got you. Not trying to stay on track. Like I said, I just feel like not many people know this Escalera device. I filmed two of the three cabinets going down. I didn't get a uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. I got Earthshaker and I got Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble is a wide body pin. So this one I was mostly like concerned about, but the back boxes are almost the same width. So I had no issues and such, but uh, I got some good footage. Linda, like I said, on their YouTube channel, they have a video recording the whole process and Linda and Dennis are straight shooters. There's really no editing whatsoever. So we were talking in the garage, it's pretty cool. Linda got a shot from up above behind Dennis as he crawled it down. I have two videos of me down here recording. Um, I'll show you those videos as I talk here real quick. It's very funny. Um, you know, I said to Dennis like, I'll go down. I'll go down just in case this thing goes uh, I'll catch it. <laughs> but uh, he's like, Vic, whatever you do, do not touch, do not touch this, this machine. Don't even put your hand on it. Just stay clear. And uh, just watching him go down. And I know it sounds weird. It's five measly steps. Um, he made it look just, he made it look like it was like nothing. And Linda messaged me and she goes, yeah, it's like an extension of his body. He just knows how it works. Now it's also cool if you see that video, if you watch his video, I should say, their video, after me, they went to another local guy's house. He did a trade with flipping Out Pinball. He traded a Legends of Valhalla and I believe like a Hot Wheels um, to, uh, for an Elvira. And uh, Dennis went with his Escalera and bought up the two machines. If you go to their video, you're gonna see that guy had like 25 steps or 20, I don't know. Maybe like, maybe like 18 to 20 steps and you could just watch the Escalera do its thing. Again, be sure to go check out their channel. Be sure to go check out that video. But again, I just want to make this video pretty quick. I know I repeat myself, but uh, I just want to give a big thank you and a big shout out to Dennis and Linda. Amazing people. Uh, Dennis actually, uh, we did the move on Sunday. He invited many people in the pinball community slash our group over his house Friday, so two days before, to celebrate his birthday and play some pinball. I'll show you, I did take a couple of videos of his collection. Man, what a collection. It's actually very crazy and I kind of learned this about myself. I don't know what it is, but I was drawn more to the games like DMD era games. He has a couple of Spike 2 games. Uh, he had a Deadpool and him and everybody was banging on Beatles. Um, I was just so focused on number one, I seen his collection. You could see his YouTube video. He has a video specifically showing his Time Out Arcade. I saw that video and I was like, ooh, when I go, I'm gonna play World Cup Soccer. I'm gonna play Sopranos and I'm gonna play South Park. A game that I played that he had, he does have a, uh, I believe it's called the Pinball 2000 system. He did have a Revenge from Mars. This machine was not at all in my wheelhouse. I played it and then obviously I was just like, I need to find one now. What mind blowing technology with the whole holographic display. It's, it's just kind of funny because that day at his birthday party, I didn't touch a Spike 2 at all. I was more, I was more into playing these older style DMD era games and all in all, amazing time. Again, a big thank you. I can't thank them enough. Big thank you to Dennis and Linda for helping me 
bring down these three machines, they know that when I get more, I'm gonna be calling them. So Dennis also said, hey, Vic man, it wasn't that bad of a drive. It was about, I think it was a 30 minute drive, 45 minute drive. Uh, I think it was 28 miles. That's why I said, I wanted to be sure to pay him at least for the gas and for lunch. And he said, Vic, anytime you need help, man, we're here to help. So again, it's awesome. Uh, I'll post more details in the description down below. I did tell him that not many people know about this Escalera, so you'll probably see a pin side post, maybe an advertisement in case you need an Escalera in New York. He said that he would go to all five boroughs. Uh, he is also very close with pinballs.com. So if you're in Connecticut, I'm pretty sure he'll help you out too. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Again, big thank you to Linda and Dennis. I can't thank you enough. Now we can get some live streams and I could play in the comfort of my basement. Again, be sure to give them a like, subscribe, and let them know that VicVP sent you. Thanks, guys. Sheesh. <laughs>